Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up custom ringtones as well as custom notification sounds for your Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Now the process for which we will be doing this video is a old way that I've been doing for several years, but it's definitely the most stable versus using a third party application to download as well as set up those notifications. Now I have noticed that as of late, if anybody has been using maybe let's say the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8, if they downloaded Zedge and they set up the ringtones or notification sounds from that application with that last update of Oreo, you might be losing some of those notifications or maybe even if you didn't update, I've heard that there's been people that have been losing notification, either pop-ups or app badges or dings or edge lighting, just because actually Zedge has been overtaking some of the notification settings or prompts that happens on the phone. So just to get this thing done correct, make sure you guys are downloading actual physical sound files or MP3s that you're able to get onto your phone. You can do that several different ways. I believe through Zedge, you can physically download those files to the phone, but don't set it up through the application. Or you can also connect your phone to a computer. Uh, you can get all these different royalty free songs off of the internet. You can go to different uh, websites. There's so many different ways of getting music to your phone. So now let's state that you've gone through, you downloaded your audio files, you downloaded your MP3s, you connected your computer or something from the internet on the phone or a different application. Now more than likely where it is stored is gonna be underneath the folder right here called My Files. Once you go inside of My Files, you're gonna click on Internal Storage. And if you used a particular application from the Play Store, it's probably just gonna be listed underneath that title of the application inside of that little folder there and it's gonna be sitting there. If it is not, more than likely, it's gonna be sitting in this folder here that is called Download. And if it's not in Download, it could possibly just move directly over into music if it is a musical file, um, either MP3 or M4A, then it's gonna be sitting inside of music. So now that you have downloaded and you physically have those audio files or MP3s, this is one of the ways you'd be able to set up a custom ringtone. You're gonna first head over into your contacts and I've already searched for my contact right over here. But let's say that you go through over here, you can click on a person's name, but from here, I'm just gonna search for a buddy called Random. And underneath their details, this is the screen you want to see. On the very top right hand side, you're going to click on edit. And then this is the important down arrow you have to hit. When you hit on this down arrow, it's going to pop up all these other text fields that you can add in for that person. You can change the vibration pattern if you want it to vibrate differently for each person if they were calling you. And then here is your default ringtone. Now, when you go through the default ringtone, there's really not much inside of there that you would really want to choose. It's just default stuff. But here is that little add button on the very top right hand side. Now, this is just one of the ways you can add it. And here in a second, I'm going to show you the other. So when you hit on add, this is where you can choose the sound picker and then now you'd be able to choose any of the songs that was placed inside of your music folder. You can either have it where it's only, only highlighted in a particular area of a song that it's picking a nice spot or you can make it towards playing from the very beginning. So I'm going to show you the old fashioned way of placing those files into the correct folders. Then this way, it's just going to be sitting inside of my ringtones screen. And you're going to see that here in just a second. So what you're going to do again is head over into my files. You're going to move over to wherever all that music went to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let's move over the hold on song. And let's also do we end this. Now, once we choose on the couple different songs we would like to use as a custom ringtone, we're going to click on the very top right hand side. You can either move it or copy it for this instance. I'm I'm just going to copy it. We're going to go to that internal storage. And as I've shown you from before, we're going to find the folder that is called ringtones. Now, once you go inside ringtones, just hit on done and it's right there. Now, just in case, if for some reason your phone does not have a folder inside the internal storage right here that is called ringtones, all you have to do is just add that little folder. And then once you add in the folder of ringtones, it'll be added to this list. And that is where you add in the music. So here we go. We added in these two different songs. We end this as well as hold on. So now let's actually head right back over into the contacts, hit on edit, we're gonna hit the down arrow, and then this is where we can click on ringtones, and we're gonna scroll down, and here is that hold on song that we just added in, and then we also have this one right over here that is called We End This. So you can see there that you're able to select your song that you would want to use. And then once you have it all selected, you can choose it if you want it to be from the beginning or if you just want it to be a highlight only. So I'm just gonna do the highlight only, and then you just hit on save. And so now you can see that the ringtone has been stored right there. Now the next step is talking about the custom notification sounds, but just so you guys know, it's gonna be pretty much the exact same steps as this, but you're placing it into a different folder. So now you're gonna move over into my files. We're gonna go over into, let me move back here. You're gonna move over into the internal storage 
And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna find either your sound files or your music. And for this one, let's do Wet the Bed and Who Booty. <laughs> so now we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna click on Copy. We're gonna move it to the internal storage. And again, we've already done ringtones. So now let's move over and place it into notifications. And then this is where you're just gonna click right there and you hit on Done. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you're gonna click on sounds and vibration. Now underneath sounds and vibration, this is where you have the option for notification sounds. When you click on notification sounds, you can see here wet the bed and who booty has been added to this list of the nonchalant little notification sounds. So now you'd be able to choose any of these different ones here that you can use as a notification sound. So now if somebody was to text you or anything else, that is what it's gonna be using right there. Now the downside that I have to say that is happening with this phone here is that let's say we move back over into contacts, usually on the older phones with the older version of the Samsung messaging application, you had the option right over here to change the notification sound. It just happens to be bad news. I don't know if it's um, because it's Oreo or if it's just because of the latest Samsung messaging application, but you're not able to change this for each individual person. Now, the best way to do this is use a different chat service. Honestly, I wouldn't be using text messages these days. You might as well just use either GroupMe. Uh, you can use Facebook Messenger. You can also use Google, the Allo or Duo. Allo is the best chat service that I use on my phone here, um, but that's up to you what you want to use. So basically, I do just want to apologize. You are not able to set up a particular custom notification sound per each individual person. Um, I don't know why I'm apologizing. It's not my issue. It's not my my doings. But I do know that this is one thing that is going to be missing from several people as well as myself. But you are able to change the different vibration patterns for each person. So that's not too bad. But if you guys do know of a different way that you are able to do this, um, let me know through the Samsung Messages application that is being used on these Samsung devices, not these third party applications because there's so many different third-party applications that's out there that we'd be going on for days and days and days in the comments so hope that you guys have appreciated this video if you guys did make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit on subscribe you can hit on subscribe right over here or also even right below the video write any comments or questions if you guys have anything below this video and share this video with your friends and family and social media sites so in this way anybody who owns a samsung phone they know for a fact to check out this channel and outside of that i'll see you guys later